Hey, what's up? It's Matt again, and I'm actually going to show you another UDF. Um, this one is called my in range function, and what it does is it checks to see if a certain thing exists within a certain range. And by doing so, we can actually test multiple scenarios with this function. So normally, if I wanted to see if any of the words existed in a range, I could do something like this. I would say, if this range is equal to, let's just say, DSD. Tell me if that exists within it. Well, if I actually go into here and I go to formulas and calculate now, it's going to give me a series of trues and falses. But if I hit enter, it's actually going to give me a false because false is the first item that comes up. So what I'd have to do is I'd have to wrap an or around it, or saying if anything is true, then return that and it would still give me a false because I'm asking it to do an array function so I'd have to hit control shift enter to get the true. And in a point to avoid lots of array functions I created this in range function because I'm constantly in work and all sorts of other things I'm constantly constantly checking whether something exists within something else so I came up with this formula and it has both or and and scenarios so I call it in range. We're looking for something called same. This is my range argument and then this argument would be it's called strict. So if I highlight this hit control shift A. So A my cell is gonna be we'll call it same. My range is going to be this and my strict is gonna be turned off. So I'm gonna say false. So it gives me a true. Um, no control shift enter needed. However if I wanted to say does are any of the items not equal to same? I would just convert this to a true and now it gives me a false. So kind of the point of this is to you know take this function and then wrap an if statement around it so I could say equals if throw that function in there and uh, then you know same is in all cells some cells don't have the word same and if I take this and paste it down, same as in all cells. Okay, so I'll show you how I wrote that function. It's actually um, a slightly more complex than the other two. So if you go into your VB editor by hitting Alt F11, and I'm actually just going to go ahead and delete this. I'll start from a fresh blank module. So the first thing when you do these is you have to think about obviously the arguments um, and what kind of type you want this thing to put out. So we want it to put out uh, f trues or falses essentially because it's going to be used within an if statement. So I'm just going to say function in range. My first item will be the cell. My second item will be the range and my third will be the strict which will be a boolean true or false and then I'm just gonna have it return me a boolean okay so the other thing I need to do is actually declare these variables so I'm gonna say cell as string say my range as range and I'm gonna say strict is a boolean so I'm gonna go strict as a boolean okay so that looks pretty good the next thing I need to do is kinda of come up with our high-level if statement. So the first if statement is going to be there's two scenarios that are going to happen in this. One is going to be whether strict is true and the other is going to be whether strict is false. So how I'm going to do that is I'm just going to say if strict then and then my first scenario will go there my second will go after the else and then I'll close it off with an end if. So I'm going to say the first one is the if strict is true we actually don't have to use a comparative operator here by saying equals true because strict is only going to be true or false. So if strict, then I'm going to write a for statement. So I'm going to have it do is iterate through the range and check whether each cell is equal to the cell argument. So I'm going to say for each, I'm going to say C item for cell item in my range. Okay, so for each C item in my range, and then I'm just going to close the for off right now and go next C item. You probably already know we're going to have another if statement here. I'm going to say if C item is equal to, actually we're going to say is not 
equal to cell, then I'm going to say in range the name of the function is equal to false. And at that point I'd want it to exit the 4 because as soon as it finds that in range is false or one of the cells has an equal, we need it to exit. So I'm going to say exit 4 and I'm going to close this if by ending it just like so. Okay, so um, otherwise I actually need it in this scenario to have a true part as well. So in range will need to equal true if it doesn't hit this line of code, this exit 4. As soon as it hits exit 4 it's going to pop over here and return in range. I'm actually going to write some code that says in range is equal to true. Okay, at that point we can start on our second for loop which will happen under this else statement and it'll be very similar to this one. So I can say for each C item in my range I can reuse those variables because in this scenario it's going to skip over this guy and come here. This is the false scenario of strict. I'm going to just close off this for the next C item and what I can do is say if C item does equal the cell, then my in range is going to equal true. And at that point, I'll need it to exit. And then I'll put uh, close off the if. And otherwise, it's going to be in range equals false. And that should do it. That's everything. So to make this look nicer, I'll give this a little bit more tabbing. Okay, so that should work. That is the full function. So let's test it. We can go into Excel and just see if this guy works. I'm going to delete these. So let's just test if the first scenario works. So I'm going to go equals in range, control shift A to get the arguments. My cell is going to be same. My range is going to be this guy. And I'm going to set strict to true. In this scenario, it should return a true. And it does. Okay. However, if I change something in here, like I'm going to change this, I'm going to just write a word in there, it should result to false. Perfect. Okay, so it does. So I guess the other scenario would be to check the false strict, and now it results to true. Okay, so it works. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below.